Reporting live with Samantha with Gandara and Leha, what are some of the adversity you might face in the state cross country meet? Um, despite the fact that it's already um, hard and kind of hilly and whatnot, it's going to be really rainy, so it's going to be really slick, and um, it's just going to be hard for everybody to run. Facing a lot of problems now. Coming from a guy, what do you think? I think we've got a good team. I think we've got a good chance at no place in high. All right. They hope to do good. We had the regional tournament this past Friday and Saturday. Unfortunately, all day Friday was rain, and we never saw the court, and our, we were told that we were going to be on the court Saturday morning when the rains had uh, left. But unfortunately, we didn't get on the court till 1 o'clock on Saturday, where we played Atlanta. Uh, that was a pretty quick match for us. We got out there and took care of business, won that match 10-zip, and we had to wait for our opponents, which was Argyle versus Alvarado. And the Argyle Eagles eventually ended up winning that match, and we played them at 6 o'clock p.m. Saturday night. And once again, we got out there, we took care of business, despite Argyle having a pretty strong boys team. We went out there, uh, beat them, won six out of the seven doubles matches, and then ended up winning four more singles matches to clinch a victory. Uh, we were then told that we would play uh, at 10 p.m. Saturday against Wills Point, our district rival. We'd already played them once before in Kaufman, beat them 13-6. There were a lot of 50-50 matches uh, the first time we played them, and so we knew going in the matches it would be tough. Uh, like always, Wills Point brought their entire uh, town to the match, and it was very raw-raw to start off with, but the Lions took four of the seven doubles matches, giving us a 4-3 lead. Going into singles, Wills Point jumped up. They were up about 8-5, only needing two more wins for the, for the victory. It came down to the very last match on the court, Jacob Mays. And after being down the first set and also down the second set 5-2, he rallied back, fought off two match points, and eventually won the match for the Lions, giving us the overall victory and qualifying us to state tournament. Now, Mr. Potter, I don't mean to interrupt you or anything, but I gotta ask that you lower the loans, cause, cause people can't pay for it, it's too expensive. George, out of all the things that you asked me to do, you ask this. Really. Just go. Just go. I'll see you at the- Go! Oh, I didn't see you there. My name is Mr. Potter, and I am the main villain of It's a Wonderful Life. Is it wrong to be just a businessman? Nah, maybe you'll find out when you come see the play on November 11th and the 14th and 15th of the same month. November 11th is one of the days where we will be doing our school performances. Whereas the 14th and 15th will be after school performances at, I want to say, 7. Please enjoy our show, come visit, and uh, have a wonderful life. I'm Desmond Williams, and I bought a yearbook. I'm Lil Des, and I didn't buy your book. I bought a How to Be Big book. The Leo Club is a community service oriented group that was started many years ago. It is based off of the Lions Club. It's a world organization and their main benefit or main concern is about eye care. So they have several stations across the world where the Leo Club benefits eyes. So if you needed a pair of glasses and you financially cannot afford them, then they will provide that pair of glasses for you. 
And so we hope to extend that gap between the Lions Club here at the Kaufman level as well as the high school level. So we will be known as the Alpha Kaufman Lions Leo Club. And in order to join this organization, there is a registration form. It's a front and back. It's about a four part form, very simple and easy. Basically just your general information, your address, your phone number, your date of birth, gender, what country you live in and things like that. So once you fill out that information, you can go ahead and do a, it's a $15 application fee, and then you can turn that into Dr. Crawford. And this year, our, for this semester, our community service organization project is going to be for this uh, CPS, the Child Protective Service here in Kaufman, and we're gonna be painting their three rooms. So we hope that you join us, and right now we have about 40 members, and we will continue growing if we need to. So come and join, thank you. Bye, 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 bye. So I am here with the director of the choir, Ms. Collins, and the president, Haley Richardson. Can you give me an explanation about choir? Um, it's an organization that um, goes to competitions, and we practice in class, and we do um, several concerts throughout the year, um, and we do go on field trips. Um, it's a lot of fun. We have a great group. Yay. How has your experience been throughout this year in choir? It's been a different kind of year because our building where we used to have choir is about to be torn down. So we've been relocated. We meet in several different places throughout the day. <laughs> My office is in the hall, but the kids have been great. We've got a lot coming up, a lot to get ready for. Okay. Anything? Um, it's been great. Um, I'm proud to be a part of this um, group. Yay, group is awesome. Can you give us the dates and performances that will be coming up so shortly? First one, we'll be singing at the football game this Friday night on November 6th, uh, the national anthem. Mr. Mize has been gracious and let us take over that spot for that one night. And after that, we have November 12th, which is we're doing a veterans dinner concert, a spaghetti dinner where all veterans get in free and we do all patriotic music. And then soon after that is December 8th. That's our Christmas concert. And then we hit the ground running in the spring with all new stuff. So it's busy, very busy. Mm -hmm. Very, very busy. Well, thank you for your time. Let me interview you too and have a good rest of the day. You too. <laughs> B Dog and K Dizzle here on the set of whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Buy the 2015 yearbook from A5. From S Chafin, it's $60. Or CoffmanYearbook.com. Buy it. $60. Today. Now. I'm with Brooke Robertson, and she gonna tell us about how volleyball been going so far. Um, we ended up second in district for volleyball, so that's pretty good. Um, our first round of playoffs is against Wills Point, so we just hope that we come out with a win and we move on to the second round and continue on. Go Lions! This Thursday, JV teams will be here at home in the fall festival tournament. Lions football will be here at Kaufman. JV football will be at Van. They both start at 5 o'clock. This is a change due to weather concerns. All right, this Friday will be the Blackout Pep Rally. Make sure to wear bright fluorescent colors, and the varsity football game will be here against Van. This Saturday, the cross country team will be at State and Round Walk. Next Monday and Tuesday, Balfour will take senior orders at all lunches. Bang, 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 bang,